Hi guys, Paul Pluto on the Paul Pluto channel. Today guys, I'm doing paid reviews. Paid reviews. Because guys, I can't do shit for free. And today guys, on the Paul Pluto channel, we've got a sponsored review and a question. And this is for Bill. Archie, I sent you a hundred US dollars. One hundred smackaroonies. 100 smackaroonies. I'd like your opinion on my watch collection and also some advice on what I may be missing. The first is my Tag Heuer Grand Carrera 36 in black titanium. This was my first Swiss watch and I honestly don't wear it anymore. But I don't want to get rid of it because I know I'll get nothing for it and I like to occasionally wear it for nostalgic purposes. Next is my IWC Portuguese Automatic Reference IW 500705 with blue hands. I consider this to be my main dress watch. Understated but elegant. Then I have my Hoya Monaco Team Golf watch. Um, I thought the Team Golf thing may be a little gimmicky versus a plain Monaco, but I fell in love with the colours on the dial and the contrast stitching on the strap. This is a casual watch for me. Given its heritage, I also like... Uh, given its heritage, uh, I also like wearing it when I'm taking a car to the track, which I sometimes do. All of my watches, uh, this one gets... Out of all my watches, this one gets the most compliments. Just for fun, I have a Devon Stred, Tread to Steel. I know this is not a Swiss watch, and God forbid a quartz, but it's unique as fuck, and I couldn't resist. If you're not familiar with it, moving belts tells the time. Finally, my two-tone GMT Master II Ceramic Rolex gets more wear than anything else because it works anywhere. If I'm going on a trip and I'll be dressy, casual, etc., this is the one watch I'll bring. So, thoughts on the collection? Plus, where would you go next for me? This is from Bill. Um, and he says there, oh, one more thing. Please only call me Bill on the video. Nothing further than that would be appreciated. Thank you. Um, Okie dokie. Or oh, he says also uh, one more thing about the question that should I go next? I'm thinking there are two types of watches I'd like to add. One would be a steel sports watch that is tough and bomb proof, and I never have to worry about it. A steel Daytona would certainly fit the bill, but the market has gone too crazy. Perhaps an Amiga Moon watch. Okay, this is for Bill. So let's have a bit of a discussion about Bill's watches. What do I think? And before I do that, let's do a whist, 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 whist watch check, fuckeroonies. Whist watch check. <coughs> I'm wearing the Zenith 1969 Chrono Meister, Chrono Master, El Primero Open. Open, that's right. That's my chronograph of choice today. Okie dokie. So let's have a talk about Bill's collection here. I gotta tell you, I get a good vibe from this collection. I feel it's quite a nice collection. I do like it. Um, it's very, very interesting. We've got the, firstly, you got the Tag Heuer <clears throat> Grand Carrera 36. Okay, okay in black titanium. Uh, I don't hate this watch. I think Tag Heuer, really, so many people got into luxury wristwatches via Tag Heuer. You cannot hate Tag Heuer. They have really, uh, they brought so many people into the fold. So, you, you, you really can't hate Tag Heuer. I agree with you. I would keep it. Don't sell it. Um, you say that um, this this it's 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 one of your first. This was my first 
first luxury watch you've got there. Um, you've got to remember, I actually sold my Rolex Explorer 1. Biggest mistake, not because of the money, <coughs> but because of the sentimental reasons. I was stupid to sell it. I There you go. I was very silly to sell it. Okay, I was silly. It was not a sensible thing <clears throat> to do. I sold it. I sold it. So your tag is a look. It's it's not, you know, it, it, it's your first watch. This is a journey we're going on. Then you've got the IWC Portuguese automatic. Now that's IWC. I love IWC. IWC is a cool brand, and uh, I got to tell you myself there, I love the IWC. The whole thing with them is attention to detail. This is a big, it's the, just, just the, yes, it uses a lot of ETA type movements. Yes, 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 I get it. Well, this one's actually the in-house, but it's just great attention to detail. So uh, that's that's uh, a very, very good, I think that's a nice watch to have. IWC's great, great brand to have there. Then you got the Team, you've got the I, sorry, the Monaco Team Golf, uh, which is the Caliber, Caliber 11. My Caliber 11 says hello to your Caliber 11. Um, I absolutely love the Calibre 11 with the, the crown on the other side. The crown on the other side. Uh, absolutely amazing piece there. Absolutely amazing. Um, look, the golf. I actually quite like the golf colours. I love that racing image there. I, um, I, I, I can't... I don't think... <clears throat> There's anything wrong with that. I bought mine pre-owned. I, I didn't get to choose which one. But if I was buying you, I, I could... The golf colours are cool. They're super cool. Very Steve McQueen cool. Uh, I quite like it. Uh, then then you've got... Uh, you've got the... Uh, the Devon. Yeah, it's, it's a novelty watch. Okay. But most importantly, you've got a... Rolex, Rolex, Rolex GMT Master 2, of course. That's what you need. Everyone needs a Rolex. So I do think you've gone a very good way there. So uh, what are my thoughts on your collection? I quite like it. You've got some really good taste. It tells a story of your, your you started off with the tag, you got an IWC, you got a Monaco. Monaco is super cool, super cool. You can't, can't, you can't. Uh, I don't give a fuck what anyone says. I think the Monaco is one of the most beautiful watches of all time. I love my Monaco. I absolutely love it. Uh, you got a Rolex. What would I do if I were you? Okay, so so what's my thoughts on your collection? I like it. I like it a lot. The Rolex, the three. I mean, the three heavy hitters are the. The, uh, the Rolex GMT Ceramic, uh, the Monaco, and the IWC. Three beautiful, iconic pieces there. What would I add? What would I do? That is a very, very good question indeed there. I would say, um, I, I would be, be, I think when you have collection of watches, you look at, some different functions there. Where would I go to next? Um, I would seriously say, let's look at it this way. We've got a GMT, uh, we've got a GMT Master 2 as our travel different time zone watch. We've got the Monaco as our chronograph. We've got the IWC as our dress sports watch. I'd add a diver. I would be adding a diver. A diver. <coughs> and um, I'd, I'd, I'd tell you what I would add. I think a beautiful diver to add to your lovely collection there. 
Uh, I'd be adding a discount diver. And the king of discount divers is... Tudor Black Bay Heritage. That's what I'd add. I reckon a Tudor Black Bay Heritage is a great watch. Submariners, they've gone crazy. <clears throat> Whether you buy a used or a new Submariner, their horses bolted their big money. I think the Tudor Black Bay, it's 41 mil, slightly bigger than the Submariner. I think this is the perfect modern size. Um, I think that is a very good buy. Um, I, I do love... If you've got a Monaco, you love a bit of retro design. That's that's cool as fuck. Um, the other thing you could add is is a uh, you could add a a Breitling. I do love. I must tell you, I really do love. Just get my Breitling. My Breitling is on the um, it's on the watch winder here. It's on my my Wolf Wolf. Watch winder. We'll just take that out. And there we go. This is my my um, Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2. These are great bang per buck. Um, there's the Heritage 2, which is the the has the Tudor movement uh, and the ceramic bezel. But I got to tell you, I actually prefer the aluminum bezel. So I reckon if you wanted to get a good discount diver. Get one of these. The other thing I would do is... <laughs> okay, your collection there. Very much iconic uh, pieces. Very much iconic pieces. I would be adding... What's an iconic? So, so after I got a diver, I'd really look there. Look at your collection. Look at your collection. You've got a situation where you've got the your Rolex, the GMT Master. It's just such an iconic watch. The Hoya Monaco. Well, they invented. They basically were one of the first to market for an automatic chronograph. The IWC Portuguese. It's just classic IWC design at its best. Get yourself a discount diver, either the Tudor Black Bay. Or the um, the Breitling Super Ocean Heritage. What would I add next? I tell you what I'd add next, and uh, you, you you're gonna know it. You're gonna know it. You're gonna know it. It's very iconic. Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon, the most iconic manual wind chronograph. That's what I would get. That is what I would get. So, um, yeah, that's that's where I'm coming from. I would be getting, I reckon those, add a diver, a discount diver, and then I'd add a uh, an Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon. Get the manual wine, house of light glass, you know the drill. Uh, that's, that's what I'd be adding. Um, you're saying there, you were saying that uh, one watch that I think you want you want to see the Tudor Black Bay is tough as guts bracelet same as the the Breitling the Breitling shark mesh just 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 so bulletproof bulletproof itself there a steel Daytona look I I think the steel Daytonas are crazy money they're absolutely crazy money they are a magic watch they are fantastic they're rich man's toys they're not there's so much better value you can get in a collection than buying a Daytona. I mean, I love the Daytona, don't get me wrong. Dave, my friend Dave's got a, he's got nearly 10 of the bastards. But I think I'd rather have a genre of watches than one Daytona. I mean, the Daytona, yes, it is amazing, but I'd rather have a fucking Patek for that money. <laughs> That's just my view. So, um... Bill, to answer your question, I love your collection. I can see the journey. That's what it is. It tells a story. I would add a discount diver, a Tudor Black Bay, or a Breitling Super Ocean Heritage. And then I would add an Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon. That would be less <clears throat> than buying another Rolex. Because you've already got the most iconic Rolex possible, the Rolex GMT Master 2. How much better do you want than that? 
So um, I love your collection. That's some advice on where you should go. Tell me what you guys think. I'm Paul Pluto. This has been a paid review. Guys, remember, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Remember, it's 50 US dollars for a paid review. And don't forget, guys, don't forget, subscribe to my other channel, the Archie Luxury Corporate channel. Uh, and uh, don't forget, when you subscribe, click on the bell. That way there you can find out about new videos that I release. Thank you so much. And uh, don't forget, few nasty comments below. Everyone loves a nasty comment. And I'm sure Bill is no different. See you later, fuckers. You know, uh, the, the, the poor pontiff, he's... He, he struggles to eat all those reef and beefs, to meet the demand that is placed upon him. It's not easy being an international YouTube celebrity. He's given us everything he has to give, and he might have hit rock bottom. But um, hey, let's take a look at where he's going now and what he's going to do next. Hi, guys. Archie Luxury Corporate, the latest YouTube Archie Luxury sensation. Well, guys, what's happened? Well... I'm starting a clean, fresh channel. That's right. This is Archie Luxury Corporate. And uh, in this channel here, I want to increase the professionalism. I want to increase the professionalism of the Archie Luxury channel. So, obviously, it's going to be a wild success. You can tell already everything is new, different, and changed. So, hey, meet me over at the Archie Luxury Corporate channel. Archibald Chesterfield III Corporate, a man desperately in need of our assistance and support, now more than ever. Have you been sending money abroad for Save the Children to some child in a third world country? Or have you adopted a puppy and been making payments to keep that puppy in a shelter? Well, I think it's time that you thought about this puppy right here, the man, the legend, the myth. He needs your help. I would say cancel everything and get on his Patreon. Or at least join me over at Archie Luxury Corporate. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments.